Welcome to an exploration of Maxwell Chikumbutso's groundbreaking innovations. Hello, I'm Dr. Cool. Today we'll dive into six self-powered technologies that could transform Zimbabwe and Africa. Now I know what you're thinking. Self-powered? Come on, Dr. Cool, is this guy for real? Well, the truth about this is shocking, but who am I to question divine insemination over physics? And that's the million-dollar question, isn't it? Because it looks too good to be true. You can't separate science from sorcery, can you? Chikumbutso's inventions sound like something straight out of Wakanda, but the science behind them is still shrouded in mystery. Isn't that our first perception of most strange invention? We're talking about cars that run without fuel, batteries that never die. Hey, have taken a good look at Boeing jet engines. Does it look real to you? But you still fly those planes, don't you? And TVs that don't need to be plugged in. You don't know pilots' training qualifications and capabilities, but you trust him. Magic, isn't it? Well, you will be forgetting your skepticism and your Tesla model soon. It's enough to make you believe in magic, or at least question everything you thought you knew about physics. But hey, that's what we're here to find out. So buckle up, because things are about to get electrifying. Imagine a world where filling up your tank is a distant memory, a relic of the past like dial-up internet or fax machines. Well, that's the reality Maxwell Chikumbutso is trying to create with his self-powered car. This isn't just about saving a few bucks at the pump, though. We're talking about uh, potentially revolutionizing Zimbabwe's economy. Think about it. Zimbabwe spends over a billion dollars every year importing fuel. That's money that could be going towards schools, hospitals, or, you know, a really nice statue of Maxwell himself. But it gets even bigger. Imagine the global impact if this technology takes off. Suddenly, Africa, a continent often overlooked in the tech world, becomes a leader in green energy. We're talking Tesla who? Elon who? It's the Chikumbutso era, baby. And it's not just about national pride, although that's definitely a bonus. This could mean affordable transportation for millions of people, particularly rural farmers who rely on expensive and unreliable transportation options. Of course, we have to address the elephant in the room, or should I say the engine in the car? How does it actually work? Well, that's the million-dollar question, isn't it? Chikumbutso says he's using radio waves to power his inventions, but the scientific community is, shall we say, skeptical. And look, I'm no scientist, I get my news from Twitter just like the rest of you, but it does sound a little too good to be true. But hey, even if it's just a pipe dream, it's a pretty exciting one, right? A self-powered car cruising through the streets of Harare? Now that's something I'd love to see. Hold on to your helmets, folks, because Chikumbutso's next invention is about to take us for a ride. Forget electric scooters, we're talking self-powered superbikes. Now, motorcycles are already a way of life in many parts of Africa. They're the backbone of transportation, especially for small businesses and traders, but these aren't your average bikes. These bad boys run without a drop of petrol, meaning no more fuel stops, no more exhaust fumes, just pure, unadulterated freedom on two wheels. Think about what that could mean for intra-African trade. Imagine a network of self-powered bikes zipping across borders, transporting goods and services faster and cheaper than ever before. We're talking about a potential economic boom, folks, fueled by nothing but good old-fashioned ingenuity. And let's not forget about the environmental impact. Africa spends a fortune on motorcycle fuel imports every year. These self-powered bikes could drastically reduce that, cleaning up the air and saving the planet one ride at a time. Now, I know what you're thinking. Trevor, this all sounds amazing, but are these bikes safe? And that's a valid question. We need to make sure these bikes are roadworthy, reliable, and most importantly, don't spontaneously combust while you're trying to overtake a donkey cart. But if Chikumbutso can pull it off, these superbikes could be a game changer. It's like the saying goes, give a man a fish and you feed him for a day. Teach a man to build a self-powered motorbike and you've revolutionized transportation for a continent. Okay, folks, get ready to have your minds blown because we're about to enter the realm of the seemingly impossible, the infinite battery. Yes, you heard that right, a battery that never dies. Imagine never having to worry about your phone dying again. You could scroll through TikTok for eternity. Okay, maybe that's not the best example, but you get the point. This technology has the potential to change everything. Think about what it could mean for rural communities in Africa who often lack access to reliable electricity. With Chikumbutso's infinite battery, they could power their homes, businesses and schools without relying on expensive and often unreliable power grids. 
We're talking about a future where every village, no matter how remote, has access to clean, sustainable energy. And it's not just about Africa. Imagine the global impact of a battery that never needs to be recharged. No more scrambling for outlets at the airport. No more dead car batteries on a cold winter morning. The possibilities are endless. But let's be real, folks. This is some next-level stuff. We're talking about defying the laws of physics as we know them. Scientists have been trying to create a perpetual motion machine for centuries, and so far no dice. So, is Chikumbutso a genius who's cracked the code? Or is this just a case of wishful thinking? Only time will tell. But hey, a guy can dream, right? And in a world facing an energy crisis, a little bit of dreaming might be just what we need. All right, folks, put on your thinking caps because we're about to dive into the world of self-powered entertainment. That's right. Chikumbutso claims to have invented a television that runs without being plugged into the wall. Now, I know what you're thinking. Isn't that just called a tablet? And to that I say, you're not thinking big enough. This isn't just about watching cat videos on a small screen. This is about bringing information and entertainment to every corner of Africa. Imagine rural communities who've never had access to television suddenly being able to watch documentaries, educational programs, or even just a good old-fashioned soap opera. We're talking about bridging the digital divide, people. And let's not forget about the environmental impact. Think about all the electronic waste generated by discarded batteries and outdated TVs. With Chikumbutso's invention, we could drastically reduce that, creating a cleaner, greener planet for generations to come. But hold on a second, let's not get ahead of ourselves. A self-powered TV is a pretty bold claim. How exactly does it work? Is it powered by hopes and dreams, positive vibes? Look, I'm not an engineer, but I'm pretty sure TVs need a source of energy, even if it's not coming from a wall socket. So, until we get some concrete proof, I'm going to remain cautiously optimistic. But hey, if Chicken Butso can pull it off, this could be huge. Imagine a world where everyone, regardless of their location or income, has access to information and entertainment. Now that's a future worth watching. Get ready to crank up the power, folks, because we're about to explore the world of self-powered generators. That's right. No more diesel, no more noise pollution, just clean, sustainable energy out of thin air. Now, generators are a lifeline in many parts of Africa, especially in areas with unreliable power grids. But they're also noisy, polluting, and expensive to run. Chikumbutso's invention promises to change all that. Imagine hospitals being able to run life-saving equipment without interruption, schools being able to hold classes after dark, and businesses being able to operate at full capacity, all thanks to these self-powered generators. We're talking about a potential economic and social revolution, folks, powered by nothing but good old-fashioned ingenuity. And let's not forget about the environmental impact. Diesel generators are a major source of pollution in Africa. Chikumbutso's invention could drastically reduce our reliance on fossil fuels, creating a cleaner, healthier planet for everyone. But hold on a second, let's not get ahead of ourselves. A self-powered generator that can power an entire factory, that sounds a little too good to be true, right? Where does all that energy come from? Is Chikumbutso tapping into some secret energy source that scientists have overlooked? Look, I'm not saying it's impossible, but I am saying I need to see it to believe it. But hey, if he can pull it off, this could be the energy solution we've all been waiting for. Hold on to your seats, folks, because Chikumbutso's final invention is a real doozy. A car that not only powers itself, but also your entire home. Yes, you heard that right. This is the ultimate two-for-one deal. Imagine driving home from work, parking your car in the garage, and then using it to power your lights, appliances, and even charge your phone. It's like having a mini power plant on wheels. But this isn't just about convenience, folks. This technology has the potential to revolutionize the way we think about energy. Imagine a world where every home is energy independent, where we're no longer reliant on centralized power grids that are vulnerable to blackouts and price hikes. We're talking about a future where energy is decentralized and democratized, where everyone has the power to generate their own electricity. And let's not forget about the economic impact. Imagine the job creation potential of this technology. We're talking about manufacturing, installation, maintenance. The possibilities are endless. But hold on a second. Let's pump the brakes a little bit. A car that can power a whole house? That's a lot of juice. Where is all that energy coming from? Is Chikumbutso harnessing the power of the sun, the wind, cosmic rays? 
Look, I'm not an engineer, but I'm pretty sure generating that much power requires a pretty powerful source. So, until we get some concrete details, I'm going to remain cautiously optimistic. But hey, a girl can dream, right? And in a world facing an energy crisis, this dream might be just what we need. So, there you have it, folks. Maxwell Chikambutso's six self-powered inventions that could potentially change the world. From cars to TVs to generators, this Zimbabwean inventor is on a mission to solve some of the world's most pressing problems. Like us or hate us, that's a fact. We have seen it, we have tested it. It was tested outside the country, it works. So what we have is called a microsonic energy device. But before I got to the microsonic energy device, uh, like where we are right now, around 2013, that's 2003, that's when God gave me the vision, I started to work on it. And that time I was working on three projects. I began to be very much interested in radio frequencies. And I'm so good in radio frequencies. That's something that I know back to back. You cannot confuse me when you talk about radio frequencies. <laughs> I've sat down with the best professors, best engineers in the world, the likes of Nassim, Nassim Haramein, if you know him. I've sat down with him in the Radio Sense of America. I've sat with the likes of Michael, the great writers of science. They don't believe that I'm not, I'm not educated. I'm good when you talk about radio frequencies. I'm so good in them. <laughs> Most of my projects, I'm not boasting, but I'm telling you, you cannot confuse me when you talk about radio frequencies. <laughs> so right now, we are waiting on that to put a, a, an assembly plant in Zimbabwe. Chikumbutso's inventions promise a utopia, millions of jobs, energy sovereignty and African technological dominance. However, without transparent validation, they remain speculative. The path forward demands independent verification, global partnerships and ethical investment. For now, Chikumbutso's vision is a lightning rod for awe, debate and the audacity to dream beyond limits. Is he a visionary genius, a skilled illusionist or something in between? Only time will tell. But the one thing's for sure, his inventions have sparked a global conversation about the future of energy, technology, and the power of innovation. So they, you have it, folks, six innovation that is reshaping how we perceive technology that causes earth tremors in the entire Western world. And sure to like and share this video, stay positive, optimistic, awake, connected, and engage with me in comments section through critical analogy, not biased skepticism. As always, I am Dr. Cool. Now, if you will excuse me, I have a date to keep, a new groundbreaking technology to enjoy, and a flight to catch. See you in comments section.